Hello, this is Mrs. Cooper with the weekly update for the week of February 25th, 2022. Here are some upcoming events. The Lake Grove Street Painting Festival is this weekend, February 26th and February 27th. Come cheer on PBMA students and teachers to see all the gorgeous drawings on the streets of Lake Worth. The Spring Elementary Scholastic Book Fair is Monday, February 28th through Friday, March 4th. Please email me if you're able to volunteer to help out at the book fair. Shifts are 8.30 a.m. till 11 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. till 2 p.m. Spring Group Picture Day is March 10th. Students must wear uniforms for the group picture and a student's media release form must be signed in order to be in the class picture. Individual spring pictures are on March 24th for grades K and K through 2 and 6 through 8. March 25th is for grades 3 through 5 and grades 9 to 12. Students can wear school appropriate non-uniform clothes for spring pictures. Spring break is March 12th through March 21st. School resumes for students on March 22nd. Here's a message from our administration. Hello, parents and friends of Palm Beach Maritime Academy. My name is Marie Turchiero, and I know most of you. I'm the executive director here. And I wanted to take a minute just to remind you of all of the ways that you can check up on your children and become involved in their education. Report cards will be coming home shortly for K through five. They come home every trimester, and they come home quarterly for grades six through 12. Please check them. If you have any issues or questions, please, you can call the teacher, you can email the teacher, and all the teachers are first initials, last name, at pbmalantana.org. You can contact one of our administrators, or you can use our Jupiter Ed program. And on that program, on that program, you can see what assignments your children are missing, you can have alerts, it's a wonderful, wonderful system. If you don't know how to use it, or you're not aware of it, please contact our parent liaison, Sherry Cooper at scooper at pbmalantana.org. There are so many ways that you can stay involved in, in your children's education. Also, please, on Jupiter Ed, Ms. Cooper sends home when there are parent meetings or parent nights, parent education opportunities, so please follow those. We've had a terrific January and are in the middle of a terrific February, but we can't get the job done without your help. So please, please feel free to participate, to call us, and to be a, a working, operating, supporting part of our PBMA family. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Hello, parents. This is Cap secondary principal. First of all, I want to thank all of you for the support that you give our school each and every day. You are an integral part of what we do to educate the young people, and I thank you for your daily support. Just a couple of reminders. Um, this is a very important stretch as we are preparing all kids for the FSA, the EOCs, graduation, um, and all of those things that are so important for all of the young people that we work for. So it is very important that all students are at school each and every day so that we can get them ready for this very, very important stretch. Also, we have Ms. Tomasetti, who is the uh, counselor responsible for working with all of our seniors. Graduation is very, very important to all of us. We want to make sure that all of our students graduate with the high school diploma. So please uh, support us with that in terms of if you have a child in 12th grade to make sure that they have all of the, the requirements that they need to be able to graduate from high school. Also very important, we have spring break coming up and there's going to be information that is going to be given, uh, sent home for, for students to be able to work on during spring break. That is uh, five days of school that they're not going to be here. So we want the students to be able to continue to work throughout the break so that there are no gaps. 
Again, thank you and have a wonderful day. Hi, PMA family. This is Mrs. Smith, the elementary school principal. I'd like to thank everybody who attended our CNA meeting Thursday evening. We greatly appreciate your input and we look forward to creating a plan to make PBMA the best school it can be next year. Report cards will be going home with your child on Monday. Please make sure you review everything, discuss it with your child, and if you have any questions, please reach out to your child's teacher. We've got one trimester to go, so let's make sure we put in all the effort we can to be successful. Hi, guys. Yep. Nothing's wrong with your eyes. You're seeing it right. Mr. Andrew Pond sitting in the driver's seat of a bus. No worries, I'm not driving. <laughs> this month, we celebrate the bus month. It's to show appreciation for transportation and our bus drivers. So first, I'll name all the names as you see them on the screen. Daniel Barone, our transportation manager. We have Deborah Dieter, Serge Francois, Donna Friedman, Irene Grant, April Holmes, Rosalind Maloney, Michael Owens, Suge Presley, Patricia Cassi and Vincent Way. Thank you for all you do. It's said that about 25 million students are transported every day to and from school. That said, according to me, the bus is a classroom on wheels and the driver with their back to the students is the teacher. Students, please remember to respect your bus drivers. Parents, speak to your students about your student following all of the rules. Remain seated at all times. No yelling. Because to ride a bus is a privilege. And before I get into that, I'll remind you all that we are the only charter school in Palm Beach County that have our own fleet of buses. We have eight brand new ones a couple years ago, and we ordered two more. So, as I said, it's a privilege. And that privilege can be taken away if you don't follow the rules. So again, always remain seated, follow all the rules, no yelling. And if you do slip something in your mouth, which you're not supposed to on the bus, put it in the trash can before you leave. Thank you again to our drivers, parents and students. Please show them some love for the rest of this month and always. See you next time. Registration is now open to students who are new to PBMA. If you haven't already returned your student's re-enrollment packet, please do so ASAP. Spots are getting all filled up. We are taking applications for new kindergartners. Children must turn five years old on or before September 1st in order to register for kindergarten. Kindergarten Roundup will take place on Thursday, April 21st at 6 o'clock p.m. at the elementary campus. Roundup is an important orientation into kindergarten. The elementary campus celebrated Tuesday on Tuesday, 2-22-22. Everyone was encouraged to dress as twins for this special date. Wednesday was National Pink Shirt Day to promote kindness and acceptance throughout our country. Our fifth graders took a trip over to our middle school on Thursday. The students experienced a marine science lesson, created an art project, and had fun with the secondary PE coach. The students also had a picnic with pizza and ice cream. We are holding an open house for our fifth grade parents to see the middle school on Tuesday, March 1st at 6 o'clock p.m. Miss Trish visited first grade. They explored sound, light, and heat energy, and how they come together through friction in things like thunder and lightning. I'm going to make some vibration, and it's going to make a sound you might have heard before. Are you ready? So here we go. Isn't that neat? That's what thunder sounds like. And see, this is vibrating and it's making the sound. And I can make it get louder. <laughs> and the more we vibrate it, the bigger and louder the sound gets. And then if I stop the vibration, I stop the sound. Miss Gums' physics class designed an environmentally friendly city. Alternative energy sources, 
energy efficient building designs meeting em energy demands, water and building performance were just some of the things the students had to keep in mind while designing their environmentally friendly city. Secondary students experienced Marine Lab in Key Largo. Let's hear all about it. Hi, I'm Miss Colgan, an eighth grade science teacher here at Palm Beach Maritime Academy, and I just had the pleasure of being a chaperone on our Marine Lab field trip down in Key Largo. Uh, so it was pretty amazing. We, the students and I got to go on a couple of really neat snorkel trips out to a reef and in the seagrass meadows of the mangrove trees, see all kinds of neat marine life. Um, and there were also several labs, laboratories on site that were pretty fascinating, um, checking out a macro invertebrate water bugs. Uh, so we had just gotten back from a morning snorkel excursion, and as the crew were rinsing down their snorkel boats, a manatee came and visited us. All right, our, our night that we spent there was pretty special. We had a full moon. Um, just as the sun set down behind the horizon, the moon rose up above the horizon and gave a really nice reflection on the water. And it was extra special for me as the eighth grade science teacher to hear my eighth grade science students using our solar system terminology and vocabulary explaining what was going on up there in our, in our solar system. And if you're interested in having your student, your scientist, go on the Marine Labs field trip next year, this is something that Palm Beach Maritime Academy participates in every year. So be on the lookout in the weekly updates for more information. Please like Palm Beach Maritime on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you will be informed of the newest information. I'm Mrs. Cooper. And this is <coughs> Bailey. Thanks for watching, and remember, an engaged parent is a great parent.